The war is all but lost on all fronts, in the air, land, and sea. The Soviet forces have nearly surrounded Berlin, and the bitter battle for the city has begun. Our divisions are completely smashed, and children are manning the guns in the city. It is only a matter of time before the Soviet flag flies over the Reichstag. Yet, our government refuses to surrender. Death and suffering from all parties involved is far from over. U-2513 is ordered out to sea once again. We depart Bergen on April 24th, 1945. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard U-2513 as we begin our third and final patrol. The boat is currently making her way out of Bergen, and it's eerily quiet out here, I'm gonna be honest. I was halfway expecting an air raid this morning, but it doesn't seem like we are going to get that. It's currently 4 o'clock in the morning, and we are just following our Minesweeper friend out to sea, and uh, that'll be that. The plan for today, I did not even look at our assigned patrol grid. I'm not really concerned about it. AN-12, where exactly is that? Is that up here? AN-12. Oh boy. Right here near Scapa Flow? Now that may actually be interesting and that may service my, my plans here. My goal, I'm not sure if we'll be able to accomplish this goal, really is to draw the uh, allied hunter killer groups to us and sink a allied escort carrier that's the current goal anyway we'll see if we can actually accomplish this unfortunately it is april 24th 1945 and uh, spoiler alert the war is about to end so our time frame here is rather short but i think we're just going to beeline it i mean we don't have time to really uh, mess around here. So yeah, let's actually go down here and see what's going on. We may not stay here for 24 hours uh, because like I said, I do want to try to hunt a a hunter killer group, but from previous experience, they do seem to patrol up here in the North Atlantic quite frequently and I'm going to draw them to us. So how we're going to do that is we are just going to turn on our radar occasionally, pop up on the surface and let them see us. And here we go. I was expecting this. I was surprised they didn't arrive already. Aircraft spotted. Allied air raid coming in from the south. Aircraft moving in very fast. Man the guns, boys. Get our... Man the flat guns, please. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to look at the... Allied planes, all ahead flank. Fire at will. And hopefully we don't get damaged here. That would be quite the end to our series. Alright, hard to starboard. Oh, look at these B-17s. <laughs> Just flying around everywhere. Okay, our guns are opening up. And this is when the game gets really goddamn loud. Alright, what are we making? What's our speed? Oh, boy. Okay, we're taking damage. Bombs just dropped everywhere. That B-17 does not look so hot. Here is that one. Fuel tank damage. Oh, boy. Okay, get a repair team on all of that. Fuel tank is damaged. We have a little bit of flooding here. You get up there, my friend. Nothing too critical, though. Thankfully, nothing's destroyed. Okay, one plane is going down. Okay, let's adjust course. We don't collide with anything here. And that floating dock eats it again. <laughs> that thing has a reputation for getting sunk in my uh, my videos, huh? That's funny. Alright. Yeah, just keep on firing. No need to really conserve our anti-aircraft ammo. Well, it looks like the air raid has been completed at this point. Uh, the enemy aircraft are zooming off. I will say, 
I just, whenever I see this, like this game is pretty old from 2005, right? And I just think of a spiritual successor to Silent Hunter 3 and, you know, massive bomber streams overhead, you know, bombing your port when you leave, like seeing that, I don't know. Uh, I can dream, I can dream, but for 2005, that's, that's pretty damn exciting. <laughs> uh, let's continue on our course and get out of here. But, yeah, who knows? Maybe one day we'll get a, uh, a spiritual successor to Song of Hunter 3. Uh, I do think that. But whenever I see stuff like that, I'm like, how cool would this be in a game made today? Anyway. There they go. Off into the, off into the sunrise, I suppose. The sun is coming up now. And this destroyer is still just popping off, blasting them. That floating dock, of course, is sunk again. That thing, I don't think it actually sunk in this series. I could be mistaken. I know it, it was sunk in our uh, our Type uh, 9 series when we were based in Bergen here, but there she goes. I guess it is a rather large target. Pretty easy to hit, especially for uh, B-17s flying at that low altitude. Let's go ahead and change course, and we're going to make our way out of the fjords here. And, uh, yeah, a good send-off from Bergen. Who knows if we will be seeing this port again. Uh, my gut tells me no. Well, we are leaving the fjords now. It's 7.23 in the morning. We have another destroyer coming in. I guess calling it a destroyer is an overstatement. It's a little trawler, a little gunboat uh, coming in, returning to the base. There are also a few uh, fishing smacks out here, but we are getting out of the fjord area now. I'm probably going to stay on the surface for a good portion of this. Uh, my goal really is just to draw out <laughs> <laughs> the hunter killer groups and uh a u-boat operating on the surface is a pretty good way to do that <laughs> if you ask me so we'll see what we can do the unfortunate thing is this boat does not have the best dive speed um that is something we'll have to keep in mind but we have uh radar warning receivers and all that good stuff uh hopefully we'll have an early warning if anything comes in and tries to bomb me of course, as we get closer, I will submerge the boat, probably like AN-27 here. I don't want to push my luck that much. Um, I do want to survive this whole ordeal. Derzeitige Tiefe 1-0. Okay, we have something interesting here. Enemy task force heading southeast. Their speed is fast. We're going to go ahead and mark this down on the map. We are not far from their position. Let's get rid of all this for the time being, just so we can properly plot an intercept course. Okay, so we're two hours and ten minutes away from that current position. I believe it's said... We can go here and see. They're going 18 knots. <laughs> No, they are booking it. This is definitely a group of destroyers. Um, I'm not sure if a carrier is going to be operating with them. Let's check. Uh, so a bow class top speed is 18 knots. So I don't know if they'd be going that fast the whole time. And the Casablanca class top speed is 19 knots. Yeah, so I have a feeling that there's not going to be a carrier in here. However, we will conduct an attack on it regardless. Southeast speed fast, 13, 18 knots, excuse me. They're going to go 66 kilometers in two hours. Let's see how far... Oh. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to pick up the speed. They'll go about half. They'll go 33 kilometers and one hour. Let's go full speed. Let's see how fast can we get there going full speed. It's a 36 kilometer journey. Already cutting down on time. 
going 15 knots will be there in one hour and 10 minutes at the expense of battery power, but that's okay. We should have enough to maneuver around and everything once we're here. We may even be able to pop up our snorkel and take a little peek. Uh, one issue is we are in the shallow water pocket. What is our depth under keel? 93 meters. Oof. <laughs> uh, not a fan of that, especially after our previous patrol in the Celtic Sea, but we'll see what we can do. Well, we'll, we'll check out. We'll see what's going on. Maybe we can just lob a T5 torpedo, our homing torpedo, into the formation and uh, skedaddle on out of there. I'll keep you all updated as we uh, make our approach. We have reached our position and we have a sound contact. Warship medium speed closing bearing 034 degrees. Let's kick it up to 10 knots. Continue to close here. I just slowed down and we're actually in a deep water pocket here. I do not want to ping. But it looks like it's upwards of 150 meters. So that that is serviceable. That is definitely serviceable. It's going to take us 20 minutes. Okay, let's go flank speed. How far away is this target? 15 kilometers. And is it all by itself? Let's take a listen. Oh, absolutely not. There's a group. The unfortunate part is it is kind of far away. Oh, there we go. There's the rest of them. They aren't really closing all that much. Okay, let's go back down to seven knots, something like that. Battery power's at around 50%. Have plenty of power to maneuver around and evade if need be. Especially if we're going slow at a speed of like five knots, for example. Okay, reduce speed down to four knots. We'll pop up our periscope. Let's adjust course slightly. Okay, so far three enemy targets, warships, definitely a hunter-killer group. Hopefully they are within range. The rain, oh, they are not going to be. I can tell you that. Okay, yeah, we'll kick it back up then, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, we may have difficulties getting into position here, folks. Which is unfortunate, very fast, oh boy. Battery's now officially at 50%. And we'll keep on closing. Just to see what we can do. Apparently the sun is officially set. Once we make this turn, we'll slow back down. Gosh, we were just hauling ass though. Okay, start slowing down, down to four knots. I, yeah, I'm not liking this. I don't think we're going to be in a position to engage, unfortunately. They're just going way too fast. Especially, I, I think it's probably just a bunch of destroyers. I don't think it's going to be much else besides that, but we will take a look through our periscope and investigate. Five knots, come on. Get me down to four, please, and we'll raise our scope. We already know their speed is 18 knots. 18 knots, angle on bow is going to be to port. Up scope. Still at five. Range is probably gonna be around four kilometers or something like that. We'll get something more precise here momentarily. Okay, yep. Hunt class destroyers, two. Actually, that's pro I don't think that's a hunt. That definitely is a hunt class. Couple of two stack destroyers, and that is it. That is it. Lock on target here. Let's let's lock onto the hunt. Um, let's go to British. Might as well fire at it. I mean, time is limited. I I could just make a whole lot of racket and get them to come on over here. I just want to be sure this is within range. Five kilometers out. Range five to seven. 5.7 5 kilometers. Okay, I'm going to do something a little... I just... 5.7. It's right at the end of our range. Okay, increase speed. 
If I could just lob one into that formation, that would be perfect down scope. We just got to close a little bit more. We also have to... Okay. Stop. And once we're down below four knots, I'm thinking we're just going to fire into the formation and hopefully the torpedo has the legs to hit something. It's just, I don't want to waste it, but honestly, I don't even think we'll have a chance to fire off all of our torpedoes by the end of this. Okay, lock on target. There she is. Okay, let's try to get her range one more time. 4.8. Believable. Angle on bow. At least something closer to 115 degrees to port. Speed 18 knots. We are firing. We are. Which one? <laughs> I just saw it. 2 4. Open 2 4. All right. Loss. It's worth a shot, right? It's worth a shot. Of course, now it's showing the fat thing here because that's the next torpedo we have selected. We're going to just watch this little guy run down the map. It looks like, yeah, this ain't going to happen, folks. It was, it's a waste. It's a whiff. They're just moving away way too quick, quickly. And it looks like our torpedo just detonated prematurely anyway. Yeah, look at them. They're just way out there. Well, honestly, it was worth a shot. Like I said, there's no way we're going to go through all these torpedoes by the time the war ends. And we're already... We have quite a few T5s. I took uh, <laughs> I took some extra ones. Um, what? The hunter killer group's going to escape this time, it seems. Down scope. We'll continue on our merry way. Just received a radio message here. The Soviet troops have surrounded Berlin. Currently, U-2513 is near the Orkney Islands here, and we are just going to make our way. I'm thinking I'm going to go right past it and go out here into the North Atlantic and try to hunt a hunter-killer group out here. I think we'll have better luck because the ones out here will most likely have aircraft carriers. This one down here is interesting, however. This one's going northwest. Their speed is only seven knots, but... Um, We'll see what we do with that if we get any updates regarding this task force down here. But I was just giving you an update on the news and our current position. We have just received a report. Enemy warship is coming right for us. So this will be the target we engage. Um, it's been like it's currently April 28th, 1945, and we have not seen very much at all. So I'm eager to uh, fire a torpedo at this this target however i think we may want to start reversing just looking at our current position here and swing around get ourselves at a 90 degree angle here rudder amidships okay and slow down even further let's get to the attack scope and make our preparations we do have another homing torpedo loaded up i'm debating i may just fire a couple of our regular torpedoes a regular G7E torpedoes. I'm not, I'm honestly not too worried about conserving torpedoes. Hopefully you all understand that. And here she is. One lone destroyer frigate. It's British. Looks like a captain class. Yeah. Captain two. Recognize that. 1,400 tons, not too shabby. Range the target. Oh, come on, come on. Hard to get this. Is she turning? Oh boy, she is turning. 
change course. Okay, it looks like we'll be firing uh, tube number four again today. Is she going to zigzag or is she just turning? Uh, it's a different story if she's zigzagging. If she's zigzagging, she's looking for us. Oh, she is. Okay. All right, lock on target. Start moving the boat, please. Okay. Rotor amidships. All right, angle on bow. 20 degrees to starboard currently. She's pinging. Range. Kilometer. Speed. Six knots. Eight knots set. Angle on bow closer to 30 now. Tube four open. Magnetic pistol draft 3.4 meters. We'll set it at four. Let's check this. Fire. All right, start moving down the 60 meters. Hopefully this thing picks up its target. Oh, they're shooting at our scope. Down we go. Please torpedo. Please home in. It has started homing in. All right, she's done for. Hopefully the torpedo will hit her before she begins her attack run. This is actually okay. See, there's our, our eel. Oh man, this never gets old. Oh, it's gonna to have to come back around. Ooh. Please hit it. All right, start moving full speed if you can. We're just going to watch our little torpedo. You can do it. Well, that was a good way to get the enemy warship to speed up and become, fall victim to our torpedo. Of course, not entirely to plan, but I'll take it. Oh my gosh, but the torpedo is really just having issues. Hard to starboard. Here we go. Got her. Come on, you're coming! Well, there we go. Kill number one of the patrol. We're going to cut our speed and... Oh, she's exploding still. Depth charges are probably going off. Okay, well now we are going to begin heading north. And we're going to try to <laughs> vacate the area a little bit. Even though if more destroyers come, let them come. I'm not worried about them. This is exactly what I wanted to do in our last patrol. It's unfortunate. Let's go ahead and <laughs> load another T5. It's unfortunate that that other torpedo we lobbed into the hunter killer group was really just a waste, but that's all right. We have plenty where those came from. Oh, there we go. One down. Uh, hopefully there are, are a few more to follow in the days to come. We're going to head north and get into the deep, two deeper waters. I'm hoping again to find a proper hunter killer group with an aircraft carrier up here soon. We have a convoy here heading east northeast. Their speed is eight knots. And I'm debating trying to engage this here. East northeast speed eight knots. So eight knots, we will be there. Oh gosh, it's gonna take us a while. Hmm. I could Yeah, let's start booking it. How long will it take us? Twelve hours. So what eight knots, twelve hours, how little far? Okay, tw two hundred kilometers. Oh boy. Yeah, they're pretty far out of range, unfortunately. 
Yeah, I think they're going to be out of range. I don't think we're going to be able to get to them, but we can head up here and see if we can find anything else, I suppose. Let's slow back down to four knots and conserve our battery power. Well, 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 what do we have here? Another destroyer in the area. I don't mind if I do. We're going to accelerate and close in. Hopefully we remain undetected this time around. And I'll slow down to a good old four knots. Looks like she's kind of coming right for us. We're already at periscope depth, up scope. Sink two destroyers today. Not bad, not a bad tally if we uh, actually end up sinking this guy. All right, lock on target. It's got two stacks. It looks like a larger destroyer. Um, the front stack is longer than the rear one. Let's find something that matches that first. A and B class. A little gun platform back there. It's possible. My my destroyer identification skills are are not the best. Are not the best really, but uh, let's see. Of course, it's not a cruiser or anything like that. Getting to the hunts and then everything else is okay. Tribal, V and W, no, no. I think I think A and B is a safe bet here. Okay. See you. Let's go ahead and get her speed. And let's let's accelerate. Try to get a little closer. 315er. Start. One minute. Two. Three. Closing in on 15 seconds. Raise our scope. She seems to be moving at a relatively quick pace here. Go oh, 15, closing in on it now. And mark. Okay, stop. Range, All right, let's use this tool. All right, 10 knots, not bad. I may just fire regular torpedoes. Okay, reduce speed down to four knots now. And let's rig for silent running so we avoid being detected like with the previous engagement. She's gonna be around two kilometers out. Up scope. This out of here. What do we have loaded? Two T3 torpedoes and tubes one and two. Slow down, please. Once we're below four knots, I'll pop up the scope and the vibrations will stop so we can actually see out of the freaking thing. I want to... I probably... Yeah, I'm thinking... I'm thinking I will just fire our T3 torpedoes. Now, here's the question. That's fine. We'll just... We'll shoot it. We'll shoot a salvo. Lock on target. Range, 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 range. These are a bit choppy. Okay. Back to this. Is she turning towards us? You got it. Is she really? She is turning. Oh my gosh, again? Uh oh. Oh god. Hello! 